You may have noticed them rolling through Portland and down along Highway 26. Massive boulders chained onto semi-trucks. Well, many say those rocks are the key to saving our coastal economy. News Channel 8's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers is live at the Tillamook Bay Jetty where those rocks are headed. Keely. Yeah, Tracy, already about 640 ton boulders have been stockpiled here at the base of the jetty and more are coming in every day carried one by one on semis traveling some 350 miles from quarries in Washington. The rocks will be stored here until June when work to rebuild the North Tillamook Bay jetty begins. About 350 feet of the jetty has deteriorated, making the channel in and out of Garibaldi's harbor treacherous at times. Since 1992, 20 people have died near the Tillamook Bar. 13 of those perished when the Tacky 2 charter boat capsized back in June of 2003. Fishermen say this jetty repair is vital for their safety and for the coastal economy. The jetty is important because if that were not maintained, uh, there would be no commerce with boats coming in and out that was possible. Uh, the skippers didn't like to come over that bar, but with the, uh, the and the, there never has been a bar built along the coast that I know of that didn't get worked over by the ocean and needed repair. Repair, and It wasn't something you could just build and it was there for good. The bar is, 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 is still not a good bar. It's a, it's a difficult bar to, to get across. It's not the deepest thing for, for deep draft vessels. It's, uh, it's not a good one. Uh, it doesn't flush out very well. In other words, it doesn't get deep. You have a, a hump in it right out at the jetties, at the tip of the jetties, uh, and beyond the jetties. And every time I look at it, you, I, it seems like that the uh, entrance has moved from the south to the north. There's a little hole through at the north. And there's, you never know where you're gonna, it doesn't appear to me that you're ever gonna know for certain where, where the channel of the deep water is gonna be. Every year we lose um, more and more um, feet off the end of the jetties, the south jetty and the north jetty, one has lost 700 feet and the other one has lost 400 feet and it makes it, you know, really extremely dangerous to cross the bar. Plus we have a, an area out in, in, the, in the front grounds that is shoaling up and so you have a possibility of uh, having a breaker just almost come out of nowhere. And so we've got all these sport fishermen and commercial guys that are, are crossing the, the bar. Like I say, it gets worse every year. So we now have um, acquired enough money to repair the North Jetty, and, and the North Jetty rocks are being brought in right now as we speak, um, 35 to 50 ton boulders, one, one boulder per truck, and I think we need a thousand of those. And they're gonna start placing those jetty rock, I believe, in, in August. And it's really amazing, because once all that rock is being placed, and, and as we speak right now, uh, about 99% of the rock is there. Of the 1,100 rocks, just under that is in place um, here in uh, 2010. And there's a lot of discretion on the crane operator as to which rocks to use in placing them on the jetty. So they, he kind of knows which piles have which quality of rock, and so he takes the uh, discretion of picking the one that's going to best get the job done. That this time they are using bigger and more dense rocks than have ever been used before. Um, many people in the community have been concerned because we did use a local quarry. Local quarries have been used in the past, but the core has determined that the rock in order to withstand the, the weather and the pressures we have here in Garibaldi needed to be much denser than previously. So they don't get much denser than the ones that we've got. And we, it's purported to last for 50 years. So uh, I believe if they, the North Jetty, the work they're doing now, it ought to be there for another 30, 40, 50 years. Um, but they're again, it's uh, if the ocean, if the ocean goes up, uh, raises two or three feet, uh, it's going to overwhelm the jetty, you know, the water level. So who knows what's going to happen.
the Port of Garibaldi has been the epicenter to an Oregon story like few others. One might ask then, how could the Port of Garibaldi's next 100 years be any more challenging and intricate as the last 100 years? Although any local would speculate, how couldn't it? Let's put our heads together. Father in heaven, we come to you. We realize that this is much more than just a pole that stands in the air, but it holds those things that mean a lot to us. The freedom that we enjoy in this land, the privilege of the free enterprise system where men can start and run a business and be successful, can have enterprise and benefit a community. We're thankful for their memory. We're thankful for all of these things and we ask your blessings that we may continue to live in this peace and freedom that we enjoy in this land. In Jesus' name, amen.